Hey everybody, it's Doug Dagnabbit. Welcome back to Modern Warzone, where we cover all the FPS gaming news that you could need to know. And in today's video, we actually have some very exciting content, which is going to be the Battlefield 2042 open beta. This is official gameplay. The embargo is over. Um, this was sent to me by Rara Man. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel. He was fortunate enough to play the game early. Um, I'm actually going to be live on twitch throughout the entirety of tonight playing this myself on twitch.tv forward slash modern modern warzone live but we're gonna break down some of this gameplay for you and just let you know what we think and how our first impressions just off of seeing this look so just to get started the first thing we're gonna notice here is that there's actually the in-game system that allows you to quick swap your attachments and this hasn't been seen in games before usually you have to go into some sort of menu that takes you out of the game but in battlefield 2042 they've opted to go this route and it actually seems pretty clean and dynamic it seems very easy to get involved and use it yourself and as you just saw right here rara Ra got into a bit of a gunfight and it seems that these weapons actually have a decent bit of recoil it requires a bit of bursting with an assault rifle even with a, a high zoom scope assault fire seems to be pretty accurate once you get the bullets done and as you can see right here headshots do a ton of damage um, the map looks gorgeous, in my opinion. There's only one map available throughout the beta, and that is Orbital. And that's the map we are currently on. As you see, I'm starting to shoot right here through some smoke. Smoke actually obscures your teammates and the enemies to where you can't see the outline of them or the red dot above their heads. So that's back as uh, it's been in other battlefields. One thing that I'm really looking forward to in this game from that we haven't had in a while is the vehicular combat and i think you're going to see in this gameplay in just a moment that that's actually going to be a huge part moving forward um this video pretty much is going to showcase everything that you could want to see from the open beta um we're going to be witnessing the tornado um live event which is actually only supposed to happen about one in every 20 matches so that's about a five percent chance for it to happen according to tom henderson over on twitter that's what he said and here we go with our first gameplay of a vehicle we're in a humvee right now just going to absolutely re roll over this guy move on to the next point and see what we can get going uh, vehicles have always been a mainstay in battlefield games i know most of the people who follow me or subscribed are here for warzone or came from warzone but if you haven't played battlefield before you're really missing out as we just witnessed all these cars get absolutely demolished and explode but the vehicle's still okay and in battlefield games you usually have an engineer who can actually repair your vehicles when things are damaged so And here we have our first look at the rocket in the game. And this is actually a really cool part of this map. It's actually a, a an environmental impact that you, the player, can have on it. So if you do enough damage along with the enemy team to this rocket, instead of going off like we're going to see it do in a second, it'll actually explode. And according to Tom, you can tell how much time you have left based on this nitrogen at the bottom and whether it not is filling all the way up to the tank but i'll have to get my hands on and uh do some testing for that myself and figure out what's going on as you can see headshot damage multiplier is actually pretty big the movement looks good you know tax sprint there's a lot of vehicle vehicular gameplay uh, one thing i do want to mention is that there are ai bots in this right here what we're currently watching is from the early access where it was nothing but creators as well as ai bots since they couldn't fill out the entire lobby um, it's going to be a very different experience for people based off of which system you're on but from the screenshot they showed earlier xbox one the original console the game actually didn't look too bad in my opinion for a eight-year-old hardware and as we see right here, the rocket is actually starting to get ready to take off. And this is actually one of the zones in Conquest, which is the only mode we're available to play in the beta, is located, which is actually really cool. It makes it a focal point of the map, not only for the view, but also because you actually need to go there to complete your objectives. I don't know if you guys noticed in the background, but there's actually a lot of uh, zip lines that lead up to the high points around this objective. Here we get to witness the grapple gun, which clearly still needs a bit of texture work when it comes to uh, how it looks in the game. But this is a couple months old build, is what their uh, communication director said earlier. Uh, Is Walsh, excuse me, not communication director, but community manager for EA Dice or Ripple Effects Studio. I forget what it's called. We got a nice little pretty view right here of the rocket before it goes off. 
and see some destruction going on above it one thing i haven't noticed from any of this gameplay i've seen so far is too much destruction like like nothing akin to bad company 2 if you remember way back then where you could just completely destroy an entire building i do believe that's still in the game but i haven't witnessed it myself here Now, one thing to note is that next gen and old gen consoles, so an Xbox Series X, will not be able to play with an Xbox One. If you catch my drift, because the map scale or the map size stays the same, but it's actually a lot different for last gen, as far as I'm aware, at least. I'm just gonna shut up now and let you guys enjoy this rocket launch. So that looked pretty good to me. I thought that looked fantastic. And right here, we're actually getting to see a long range engagement with an AR. And we see that you actually have to burst fire a bit, even though I, I had seen some, some murmurs that full auto fire basically had no recoil. That's not the case. And another great new element that we spoke about earlier that's coming in Battlefield is these random event, like destructible, crazy, chaotic things that happen, you know, in one out of 20 matches or so. And this tornado is not fully scripted to only go in the same path every game. It actually goes on a random path and can completely change the flow of an entire map. So as you can see, this is about mid-game right here. And we're going to get an aerial view of it from our first view of helicopter gameplay as well. Once again, this is all from Ra Ra Man. He was actually invited to play it early. Was fortunate enough for him to uh, allow me to use this gameplay as soon as the embargo ended at 3 o'clock. And as you can see, there's there's all types of cargo containers being thrown around in the storm. As we're going to get a bit of a view above the clouds here for a second. We can see a jet over there trying to take down a helicopter. Man, I miss Battlefield so much when it comes to just the absolute chaos that it is. And like... Nothing can compare to the moments that Battlefield has, besides Halo sometimes. Sometimes Halo has pretty epic moments. For anybody looking to make the switch from COD to this, I would say don't even categorize it as a switch. The games play very, very different. Very different. You can enjoy both at the same time. We can see some lightning strikes in the background. Man, that just looks so cool. And by the way, this is all recorded in 1080p. So while this may not be the best quality, I'm sure you'll see some 4K uploads on YouTube from some of the big guys. But the game still looks amazing to me. And this is obviously a months old build. You know, a lot of work still has to be done. You can see Sector E1, where the rocket is, is still very much in play. Even though the rocket is gone or has been exploded in this game that we're seeing right now. I would assume that tornado would uh, just cause it to explode immediately. So we can see if you drive your vehicle through, it actually turns your systems offline for a second. So you kind of get thrown around a little bit. Obviously, they're going to put a lot more work into this, but this is awesome to watch for me. As we're just watching some more of this gameplay from the tornado, I just wanted to mention something about this map. I've seen a lot of complaints about it that it's actually too big and that there is just not enough cover when trying to go from point to point. So if you don't have a vehicle, it's extremely difficult. And I think that's kind of what Battlefield's always been. I don't want to put too much of my opinion in there because obviously there are people with way more hours than me on Battlefield, but I've been playing since 1942 and that's that's been one of the mainstays you you need to be able to use the vehicles to move from point to point there's not always going to be cover for you um you really have to treat it like an all-out war you know don't expect to run across an open field and not just get absolutely obliterated by somebody else in a vehicle do we see a guy just parachuting around the tornado man this game is awesome man can't wait to get my hands on it just a moment
just going around in circles around the tornado right now. Now, I wonder if a missile would be affected by the tornado. Like, if I locked onto this helicopter right now and tried to target it with a missile, if it would get thrown off by the tornado, that would actually be really cool to see input in testing. You can see the flares going off, saves them from that one. And that's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit snippet of gameplay we were able to offer right here. And I just wanted to remind you, this is from Ra Ra Man, and I will make sure to leave a link to his YouTube in the description below. I plan to do a lot of Battlefield-based content just because I'm a fan of the franchise. I'm a fan of all first-person shooters, especially the ones coming out moving forward. We have Halo coming out right around the corner as well as Vanguard. I'll be doing my best to cover all of them as well as I can. I do appreciate you guys coming by the channel today. Um, we're going to be streaming this live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Modern Warzone live all night long from the time it goes live momentarily or actually, yeah, ignored that I just said that. We'll be covering it from the time it goes live to the very end of it. So thank you guys for coming by. I can't wait for Battlefield 2042 to come out. I have very high hopes for this game. This was more of a breakdown than it was a review. I don't want to review it until I've had plenty of my own hands-on time and experience so thanks for coming to the channel if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like drop a subscription on us if you would like to as well we're going to try to upload more content the straight to the point and just give you guys some of the first-hand look at every new game coming out here so thank you i've been doug dagnabbit thanks for enjoying the video